Certainly. Here's a detailed tutorial on sending multiple emails using a CSV file with Python without including actual code examples. Sending multiple emails from CSV using Python. Overview. In many business or personal scenarios, you may need to send personalized emails to multiple recipients. By storing recipient details in a CSV file, you can automate the process of sending these emails using Python. This tutorial will guide you through the conceptual steps involved. Prerequisites, basic knowledge of Python, a CSV file with recipient details, an email account for sending emails. Steps to send multiple emails. One, prepare your CSV file. Ensure your CSV file has columns for necessary details, such as recipient email addresses, names, and any other personalized information. For instance, your CSV might have columns like email, name, and subject. Two, set up your Python environment. Install necessary Python libraries. You'll typically need libraries like Pandas for reading the CSV and SMT plib or email for sending emails. Make sure you have access to an SMTP server. This could be through your email provider like Gmail, Outlook, or a dedicated service. Three, read the CSV file. Use a library like Pandas to read the CSV file into a data frame. This allows you to easily manipulate and access the data. Extract relevant information such as email addresses and names from the data frame. Four, configure your email client. Set up the connection to your SMTP server. This includes specifying the server address, port, and authentication credentials. Create an email template that includes placeholders for personalized information, e.g. recipient name. 5. Compose and send emails. Loop through the rows of the data frame. For each row, use the extracted data to populate the email template. Send the email using the SMTP client. Ensure to handle any exceptions or errors that might occur during sending. 6. Handle responses and errors. Include error handling to manage issues like invalid email addresses or connection problems. Optionally, log the results of email sending attempts for troubleshooting and record keeping. Best practices. Personalization. Ensure that each email is personalized for the recipient. This improves engagement and avoids the appearance of spam. Rate limits. Be mindful of your email provider's rate limits to avoid being flagged as a spammer. Security. Securely handle your email credentials. Consider using environment variables or configuration files instead of hard coding them into your script. Conclusion. Automating email sending using a CSV file and Python can save time and ensure consistency. By following the outlined steps, you can efficiently manage and execute email campaigns or notifications. Always remember to test your script with a small batch before scaling up to a larger number of recipients. Feel free to ask if you need more details or have any questions about the process.